Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For purposes of debate only, I yield the customary 30 minutes to the gentleman from, from Virginia, Mr. Scott, the ranking member of the Committee on Education and the Workforce, pending which I yield myself such time as I may consume. Recognized. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on the veto message of H.J. Res. 45. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of overriding President Biden's veto of H.J. Res. 45, a Congressional Review Act resolution nullifying the Biden administration's attempt to, um, to circumvent the will of the Congress uh, and the role of the Congress of the United States. Mr. Speaker, President Biden's radical plan to cancel up to $20,000 in student debt via executive fiat is utter hogwash. The American people are not fooled by the deceptive, doctored up talking points on student loans that the left has attempted to force feed them over the four, past two years. Appealing words like forgiveness have been cast around innumerable times as if to imply that a massive student loan bailout is the equivalent of a sweepstakes giveaway. Here's a reality check for our colleagues across the aisle. There's no such thing as forgiveness. This entire scheme is nothing more than a transfer of wealth from those who willingly took on debt to those who did not or had the grit to pay off their loans. Two thirds of this debt transfer plan would go to the top half of earners. It takes from those in the lower half of earners and gives to the upper half. It redistributes wealth, but from the bottom of our socioeconomic ladder to the top. The 87% of Americans who owe no federal student debt are paying for the 13% who do. Our colleagues on the other side of the aisle also claim that this transfer of wealth is about fairness. No, it's about sticking hardworking taxpayers with the tab and those who owe it walking away from it scot-free. Mr. Speaker, this is not the textbook definition of lemons, if this is not the textbook le definition of liberal limousine, limousine liberalism, I don't know what it is. What's more, according to the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, inflation could rise by as much as 27 basis points if mass student debt cancellation is implemented. That means we could see an additional two rate hikes by the Federal Reserve because of this inflationary policy alone. To halt the biggest transfer of wealth from blue collar workers to white collar professionals, in our nation's history and to prevent any further extension of the student loan repayment pause, the House and Senate both passed H.J. Res. 45. Following President's predictable veto, this resolution comes before the House again, and we must continue to take a stand and defend the interest of hardworking citizens. As the institution that holds the power of the purse, it is our responsibility to do so. I urge my colleagues to cut through the political noise that the left continues to gin up about so-called, quote, student loan forgiveness, end quote, and vote in favor of overriding the president's veto on H.J. Res. 45. Fiscal responsibility must be given the due deference it deserves. With that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlelady reserves. Mr. Scott, uh, 